I am so thankful for the song, An Unexpected Cross. God has allowed me to write that song with a good friend of mine, Joel Lindsay. I was going through a lot of hard times. Matter of fact, my whole family was going through a hard time. We had just um, lost a dear friend, Mr. Glenn Payne. He died real suddenly of liver cancer. Then my father-in-law, George Young, uh, had had two or three heart attacks and it damaged his kidneys to the point to where he needed to go on dialysis. It just wasn't a fun time in our lives. A lot, of, a lot of hard, hard things going on. So I sat down and I wrote this song for them and put it on this project and we went in the studio to record and as a matter of fact it was one of the last things we recorded. I never thought I'd sing it in public. But I did, and I'm so glad that I did. It was one of those times where it just, it just shut down the whole service. And no clapping. As a matter of fact, it was just a really heavy spirit in there. I knew God had used that song that morning. And as a singer, you think, well, maybe that was just that morning, and that won't happen like that again. But every night that I sing that song, God used it to heal, to bring healing to a lot of hurting hearts. Matter of fact, about two weeks ago, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, singing. And we had got through singing. It pretty well had cleared out. I was out in the foyer at the table. We set up our product and was getting ready to load up. And I could tell there was a fellow that was wanting to talk. You can usually tell when somebody's got something on their heart they want to share with you. And I said, sir, can I help you? What's, what's on your mind? What's on your heart? He kind of paused for a second, took a deep breath, and said, right there where you're standing, Ernie, about three weeks ago, I sat a coffin with my 16-year-old boy in it. What do you say? I, my heart broke for him. He said, I've really been hurting. And he said, yeah, I've been bitter and been angry. Tonight, God used that song, An Unexpected Cross, to bring healing into my heart. And you know what, Ernie? Your song didn't answer any questions, and it doesn't. But it does say that when we see God face to face, all our tears are dried, and they will be dried forever. We will see, we will understand all the reasons why. That's the hope. We carry the hope in our hearts. The hope is heaven. That's our home. And one day we'll understand it by and by. That's just one of many, many stories that I've heard how God has used this song. In the darkest time of my life, I sat down and opened God's Word and read that morning how God used a man named Simon. I bet you Simon did not get up that morning thinking, I'm going to carry a cross. And that's how it happens with us. We get up, the phone rings, bad news. We open up the paper, bad news. As a matter of fact, if God allowed us to write our life story, I guarantee you there's stuff in your life that you would not have written in there. But if he can use three rusty nails and a wooden cross to save the whole world, well then surely he can use my and your unexpected cross to bring honor and glory to himself.